wild turkeys. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Going in my car or what? <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. Hey everyone, so we're coming to you from the Wilderness Lodge here at Walt Disney World. Uh, Juan Carlos has never been here. It's been many years since I've been here. And we're bringing you along with us because we're having dinner tonight at Whispering Canyon, which is a fantastic restaurant here. Of course, it's been over 20 years since I had dinner here, <laughs> a long time. But I'm excited, and we're gonna go check out the Wilderness Lodge a little bit. It is raining, so we might not be able to show you much of the grounds, but we'll show you the beautiful interior of this gorgeous hotel here at Disney World. So come with us. Mom. Yeah, let's do it. Excited? Very excited. Yeah, yeah my let's first do time it. here, my first time having dinner in this, in this hotel, so yeah. I'm pretty excited. All right, let's get out of the rain. Um, bye. <laughs> All right, so we're out of the rain and we're here at the main entrance to the Wilderness Lodge. And the really cool thing is that when you walk in here, Juan Carlos, it really is like being transported out to Colorado, out in the mountains. It's like a rustic lodge. Yeah, it's, it's uh, beautiful and, and it actually looks like different, a very different mm -hmm. atmosphere. Yeah. And decoration. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, from the minute you drive in, you're immersed in the woods. Mm -hmm. You really have that feel like you are out in the wilderness. So, I'm going to follow you. You go through the doors. Look at the carpet. Dun, dun, dun. First beautiful resort. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? It's amazing. Wow. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's very a great, very um, massive. Yeah. It's similar to um, the the entrance at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Remember, there's yeah, a beautiful yeah. open gate. It's very similar. They they have very similar aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Animal Kingdom Lodge in here. Uh, this one is more reminiscent, though, of the the West, mm -hmm. Western United States. And Animal Kingdom Lodge is a little more uh, African themed. But yeah, let's go check it out. There's a huge fireplace in here. I want to show you. Cool. And right in the middle of the lobby, what we find a beautiful totem. Cool, right? Let's continue. There's the big fireplace over there. And directly behind me is the big giant fireplace with all of the big beautiful slate and it sort of represents all of the different um, colors of the wheat. rocks and no <laughs> rocks and slate that are found throughout the western United States. Oh, the different nice. types of granite and rock, etc. And so it's quite beautiful, quite spectacular. Yeah. Beautiful here, it really is. Yeah. Let's go out on the porch and see if we can see a little bit before the sun sets. Mm -hmm. so we yeah, it's a beautiful afternoon uh, or a beautiful evening because uh, it was raining. Yeah. So now it's a little cloudy huh? and... Yeah, just a little beautiful. drizzle, not pouring. I wonder if these are real artifacts or if it's just props. Oh, they're real. Those are... These are Native American uh, trinkets. Okay. It's like a little back, handbag. Yeah. Pretty beautiful. And here in the lobby of the hotel, you'll see this looks like a spring coming up from underground, like something you would see actually at Yellowstone National Park. Um, and the cool thing about it is it actually is the starting point of a river that comes through here in the Wilderness Lodge. And we're standing on a little bridge right now, Juan Carlos and I, so let me pan around. 
We'll go over the bridge, walk to the other side. And then this water actually continues and flows through the lobby outside and continues all the way down. And then there's a waterfall that goes down and it's pretty cool. So we are now seated here at Whispering Canyon. Um, I will point out that the very first table that we were seated at, I wasn't 100% comfortable sitting there, uh, mainly uh, because it was right next to where all of the people come and go in and out of the restaurant. And there was a large group, not quite a full six feet away from us. Uh, and they were, you know, all without their masks and laughing. And, and so uh, the host of the restaurant was very kind. And I just said, hey, I'm not 100% comfortable here. Do you mind if we wait for another table? And look, they gave us another table in the restaurant. For the most part, all of the tables are far apart. It was just that one table. And again, I'm excited about eating here. Mm -hmm. So we're excited too. Yeah. What do you think of the ambiance? It was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It's very rustic. Very rusty. Yeah, I love it. I love it. All the um, the wooden the tails and yeah, yeah. Just, it's just like we are in a completely different place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're transported away. That's one of the great things about Disney is you mm -hmm. just become immersed in the environment that you're in. Yeah, like this beautiful park. Like yeah, you know. this beautiful. Let me turn the camera just slightly. Oh, here. Look directly behind me, folks. It's beautiful. But we want to see Juan Carlos, too. So, And directly on the other side of us over there is the lobby, which is beautiful. So the cool thing, too, we'll point out again... Um, Pretty much all of the restaurants are menuless, and so you get a barcode. All you do is scan it with your phone, and right away you can look at the menu. Easy all right, peasy. Here we are, folks. All right, Dale's back with our beverages. There we go. Got some <laughs> tea for you. Some more tea. I know how fast that tea goes down. Okay. I love it. Thank you. There we go. I love the jars. That's yeah, more. Mason points. jars. Yeah. <laughs> Very rustic. I love it. There we go. Got some milk here for you. You know how you think of our coffee, okay? I'm very picky. Right. <laughs> He's very picky. He's Costa Rican, you know. We grow coffee down there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right, very good. What can I get you up for dinner? I have no idea yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you a few moments. Just a couple minutes, yeah. Sure, Thank you. Thank you. We were just looking at the menu when you walked no, up. No, you're good. <laughs> so we got a few options here. We got the Trailblazing Starters, which is uh, we can get nachos or a salad. Uh, and then they have these all-you-can-eat shared signature skillets. The traditional is basically uh, barbecue beef brisket, pork ribs, pulled pork, citrus herb chicken, western-style sausage with smashed potatoes, corn, and green beans. Then they have the pig, chancho, Mm -hmm. Braised pork belly, maple chipotle barbecued pork ribs, slow smoked pulled pork, mustard barbecued piggy wings, western style sausage with the potatoes, the corn, and the green beans again. Then they got a land and sea one, which is salmon, house smoked salmon, salmon, citrus herb chicken, spicy vegan sausage, charred, charred portobello mushroom, barbecued cauliflower, roasted potatoes, sautéed green beans, and oven-roasted carrots. It's funny, they, they have a vegan option in between all the meat. Yeah, and then there's the <laughs> vegan one, the plant-based one. Um, and I won't go through all of that because we're not going to get, we're not vegan. Um, Thank you. And then they have, um, so those are all you can eat, and then they have other main claim entrees, which are char-crusted New York strip, pan-fired red quinoa cakes, uh, which is pickled corn over roasted peppers and avocado spread. Sounds interesting. And, or you can get a cedar plank salmon. Uh, and then they have the desserts, which we'll look at later, but the Whispering Canyon Pioneer Chocolate Cake, Granny Smith Apple Pie, Rice Milk Panna Cotta, which is a no sugar added dessert. So do any of those stand out for you? The one with the salmon. You like the land and sea? See, I see. So why don't you get the land and sea, and I'll get the traditional, and we'll share. Okay. Yeah. See. Sí. Sounds mm -hmm. like we got a plan. There we go. And uh, appetizer. Well, I think with all this, we're not going to need it. Do you? No. You just. I mean, the appetizers again are either nachos mm. or a salad. Mm. No, I had a salad. You had salad for lunch, for lunch so, so I think we'll be okay. We'll save a little room for dessert. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll show you the food when it gets here. All right, everybody. Our skillets have arrived. This is a lot of food, and it tastes delicious. Check this out. Oh, my gosh. Look at all that. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. You guys having a good time? We are so far. Yeah. We just yeah. got the food. I love this. <laughs> this looks fantastic. Right. Are you the chef? Awesome. Did you make this all for us, Brad? Uh, I didn't, but uh, my guys did. Okay. Well, I'm excited to try it. All right. All right. Thank you, Brad. Okay. Thank you. 4 a.m. They come and start cooking this food. Look Amazing. This. There's one. Beautiful. Land and sea, and I got the traditional and. Mmm, cornbread. Corn mm -mm -mm. We do love cornbread. And coleslaw. Juan Carlos like loves coleslaw. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm ready to dig in. <laughs> I don't even know if we need, well, I don't know. These little extra plates. Here we go. Oh, wait. My mm. contribution to Google. Google local guides. So that was a pulled pork. I tasted first. Fantastic. Let me take a the food. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like this is also a honey butter mm. for the uh, corn. Oh, the cornbread's warm. Ooh. Get it while it's warm, baby. <laughs> Really good cornbread. Cornbready cafe. Mm. So the interesting thing too, by the way, is this is all you can eat. Oh. So if there's a particular thing that we really like, we can order more of it. Which is kind of amazing. Well, and the price of those, it's really not bad. It's $34 a person and all you can eat and on Disney property I think that's a really reasonable price for all that all that you get I'm trying the rib and these are boneless ribs too by the way mm. really good smoky flavor So what have you tried so far? The bread. Just the bread? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanted to finish my coffee. I see. So I wanted some bread with my coffee. Pan con café. No puede fallar. My cornbread is good. Salmon. Mm. Yeah. Tell us, how is it, Juan Carlos? It's moist, tender. It's very good. Does it have a smoky flavor to it? Mm, no. It's not very strong though, mm -hmm. but it's very good. So how was your sausage? Come on. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sausage is good. Now I'll be a little healthy and eat some green beans. And those are really good, flavored perfectly. Wow. That's papas. Oh, you don't have any. No, I have I have mashed potatoes. Mine are very good. Oh. You have like little new potatoes. Are they new already? I don't know how new they are. <laughs> so we both have chicken as well. So let's try the chicken and let them know what we think. And the chicken, you get little chicken wings and little chicken drumettes. Mm. Very good, very good seasoning. I got a little smoky flavor. And the chicken has just a slight little bit of extra pepper, so it gives a little extra kick. I like it. See? 
and they brought us some extra barbecue sauce. It's house made, it's warm. Very good. That's how it goes a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rickle. It's good. Simple, but very good. So we pretty much tried everything on our plate, and I will say, this is a fantastic meal. Whispering Canyon, Wilderness Lodge. We're gonna enjoy our meal now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you after we're done eating. pretty good. Based on this plate? Yeah, we are. <coughs> so Juan Carlos, why don't you give everybody, what's your impression of the meal? It's a lot of food and everything is very, very delicious. It's got, um, you know, like that smoky flavor plus the um, barbecue sauce. Uh, just a little kick to it. Yeah. Just a little bit. And yeah, everything just blends perfectly. Absolutely. Was there one item on your land and sea that stood out? Yes, and it was unexpected, but the cauliflower was really good. Yeah, you were real excited. Yeah. They have a, it's sort of a roasted, smoky cauliflower. Yeah, it was very good. That, yeah, really jumped out at you. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I really liked the taste of the brisket, so you know, you're allowed to order more. This is all you can eat, and you can ask for like one item if you liked it. So I asked for just one more piece of brisket, but he was kind and brought us two, so Juan Carlos. And we did share with each other, so that was another thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say overall, the quality of the food here is fantastic. The uh, price value, I think, is great. Um, and you definitely are not going home hungry. <laughs> Juan Carlos really likes that cornbread. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't decided about dessert yet, though. I don't know. What do you think? Do you have room for it or no? You do? He always has room for dessert. So, what are the dessert options? Let's look. I forgot. I know. I think apple pie. Dessert needs no room. <laughs> dessert needs no room. You just swallow it. So, we have um, Pioneer Chocolate Cake or the Granny Smith Apple Pie or the No Sugar Added Rice Milk Panna Cotta. With Marion berries and strawberries. Can you see that one? Panna cotta. It's probably like a little like a. It's sort of like a tapioca. I guess is the best way. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had it. I want uh, the rice meal. You want that? Wait, rice meal. Uh, uh, no. I was confused with um, with rice pudding. Yeah, it's not, rice milk is the. It's not rice. the same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then the apple pie. You want to get the apple pie? Mm -hmm. you want to share sure. it? Yeah. We'll get a la mode. See? Yeah. Apple pie a la mode coming up. Warm apple pie a la mode. Mm -hmm. One for you. One for me. If you could just smell this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does smell really good. Yeah. It's got little almonds on top, a little powdered sugar. My, my uh, <laughs> mouth is watering. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I love an apple pie that has sliced apples all through mm -hmm. it. Perfect way to end the meal and our day today. Mm -hmm. We had a pretty easy day. Today. Yeah, today was an easy day. We didn't go to any parks today. We had a resort day. And we actually chose not to film that part. We hang out at the pool. Um, we rode some water slides. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, we just had a relaxing day uh, to, to ourselves. It's a relaxing day, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. It's. I think it's actually that. That's actually a good advice to have one day in between your park days. Yeah. Because being in, in the parks is very. Um, it's a, it's, um, it's tiring. It's tiring. Exactly. Yeah. So, if you have the. Need to have like a break in the middle, 
It'll be fantastic. It's gonna recharge. Yeah, and that's the nice thing about staying at a Disney resort that they all have beautiful pool areas. We went to two different pools today. We, yeah. The pool closest to our villa, which we're in Congress Park, is the quiet pool. It's very, very relaxing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went to the main pool, which is right next to the carriage house where you check in. And that's the one that has a big water slide and a little more activity. But again, with the resorts being so quiet right now, the pool was very quiet today. It was easy to socially distance yourself. And mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. We had the pool pretty much, pretty much to ourselves. To ourselves. Yeah. There were there were a few kids playing, and they were doing. I noticed when I went um, to the to the slide up, mm -hmm. um, they were doing a like a question answer. Oh, they were doing trivia. Yeah, trivia, they had like trivia, a yeah. activity mm -hmm. person by the pool doing trivia, mm -hmm. which was cool. Um, but yeah. It's good advice that Juan Carlos gave. If you if you have the ability to take a day and just enjoy the resort and relax. Something else that I noticed when I came in here and pretty much in any um, Disney uh, resort is that everybody uh, or everybody was wearing a mask. Yes. All, all the stuff they all was wearing a mask, but. The people here, you know, seating, even the, if they were just seating, everybody had a mask on. Yeah, all of the guests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, coffee's How's here. The apple pie for you? It's, well, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Tell it's mom I appreciate good. her out there in the back cooking. Yeah, will do. <laughs> will do. How is the food for you tonight, too? I'll tell you what, it's fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. I like the pig. I like the pork belly and the piggy wings. Yeah. yeah. And again, the Disney difference is the service, you know, that you get really good service. Um, and that's important. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little video. This is a quick video of us here at Whispering Canyon at the Wilderness Lodge. And uh, we appreciate you all watching. And uh, of course we would love for you, if you haven't done so yet, his mouth was full to subscribe to the channel <laughs> just do it give us a thumbs up uh, comments and feedback are always appreciated hit the button down below yep <laughs> and always remember happiness is a lifestyle it is <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot everyone we really do appreciate you and uh, peace out for now now our bellies are full we, we gotta go we gotta go sleep <laughs> bye everyone